on live. We're about to get started right now. Hi, you guys. Woo, 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 woo. Really, I have to, I have a swimming suit on underneath, and I wear this every single day. So I just want you to know, you always have the same thing on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, we have some people. <laughs> we keep recording more people, you guys. <laughs> and Anya. We have the whole crew here. Someone smells real good. We got Latrina live, Kimberly, Bill. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, Miss Walton. <laughs> okay, uh, should we get going? Yes, we are still showing up for you guys. We are here. We're getting going. So uh, starting off with some wins or follow up from homework from yesterday. How did everybody do with going into that Facebook group and talking to some people? Susan, we got Susan. Susan Burton. Hey. <laughs> so I got two people to follow me. And what? one of them went through my business page and like pretty much liked everything. <laughs> and awesome. uh, one of them, and I had another person accept my friend request. Awesome. What? Good for you, Susan. How, like, what was that process like? Was it easy? It was really easy because the one... Um, I had posted something in the group and one of the comments I liked. So I replied to her comment and then I just went and sent her a friend request. I didn't even, you know, butter up or anything. And she accepted it immediately. Awesome. And we had a couple of comments back and forth, but yeah, it was, it was easy. I mean, I, at first I was like, you know what? And I, I kept hearing Robbie in my head, get out of your head, get out of your head. <laughs> just breathe and I just did it and it was so easy so now awesome. it does it's not that big of a deal awesome I, I think that's such a like a, a key point is like making this an easy thing this does not have to be hard this can be incredibly easy and we're all built for connection we all want to feel connected to each other so people are going to want to connect with you okay so we want this to be an easy process for everyone um any other any other wins any other uh follow-up uh, homeworks from uh, from yesterday. We had some people over in the live saying they're uh, they've been a few days behind. Kimberly said a few days behind, but I love this week. We'll be caught up by this afternoon. Awesome! Thanks for showing up. Brandy, I'm out of my comfort zone. <laughs> out of the comfort zone, Brandy. Brandy. Awesome. Thanks for showing up. Uh, Bill said what? Uh, Bill said I had to answer questions in order to post in one group. It was easy just agreeing to the rooms. Awesome. Awesome, Bill. Leticia. Leticia. <laughs> awesome, you guys. And how do we, to me, something that's interesting as well is you guys, this might be a little out of your comfort zone, but how do we gain confidence in anything that we do? We keep do it. Going. We keep practice, going. Practice. We keep going and we keep going. As we had more confidence when we started riding the bike for the first time, we just had to keep going and keep going. And now it's easy. It's second nature. We don't have to think about it. Or even driving a car. Think about how many different things you had to think about driving a car. And now it's so, so easy. I'm right here. Oh, pull up the chat. Did you see that one? That one was amazing. Uh -uh. Um, right here. Uh, Josette. Jocelyn. Josette. Josette, messenger is booming. Did homework and getting responses. Awesome. Way to go. Cool. Tara said she got a few new friends. Awesome, you guys. Seriously, so, so awesome. Cool. Sweet. Well, today is dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> um, going into today, is that okay? Yeah, yep. go, go, yeah. go. No, yeah, you guys, I'm kind of off the side. No, yes. Go ahead, Rob. Um, today, we had a special guest. So on Wednesdays, we have special guests coming in. Her name's Stephanie Cogler, I believe her name was. And basically, she just gave us an assignment. And they just kind of talked through the assignment. And today's assignment was, it was a 30 day assignment. And basically what it was doing was you have to go, basically it's just, she talked about it's your daily dose of vitamins. You gotta be doing this every day. So it's a 30 days, every single day, every single day. You gotta reach out to five people every single day. Five, five new, new people. people. Five new people. So it's not following up from the day before, following up from anything. It is, it's five new people every single day. Okay, for the next 30 days. 
And it can be anyone that you've talked to in, if it, you haven't talked to them for three months or people that have commented on posts that you haven't talked to or that have liked a comment or you can go into the groups, but finding five new people to talk to. Yep. Well, and she, can I run into cold, cold, cold and hot? Yep. Cold so she hot. talked about different, uh, she talked about the cold and warm market people. So cold people, she gave it a definition, are people that you haven't talked to for three months. So that means that you haven't chatted with Roxanne for the last three months. So I'm not going to call up Roxanne and say, hey, Roxanne, you want to buy jewelry? She said at that time, she says her magic number is five. She tracks. She's tracked for 10 years and she tracks everything. Her magic number was five. That's the secret sauce. So if you go in and, and start to talk to them, she says, first of all, compliment them, then find something in common. And then ask him a question. So there's five different. She she did this. It was really cute. Ping pong, ping pong. <laughs> so if it's somebody that like you're going into a group that you know you guys have an interest, or if it's somebody that comments on one of your posts, you can find something of interest that you see. You go to their profile and you see, oh, they wear glasses, or oh, they have kids, or they have dogs. Whatever your interest is, that you have something in common. Then that makes you that you are being more genuine, and you are you just are going to organically just be able to connect. Yeah, and when that you talk, sorry, that conversation gets into more depth. Yep, and the, the basically what she said is that is she called it the five touch rule. You want to you want to talk to them five times if it's a cold market person at least five times before you bring up an opportunity to come buy something from you or show them a tool. We've kind of talked about tools in the past, but some examples of tools are like your replicated sites. It's sending them to the paparazzi site. Um, it's um, we've, we've sent you guys this becoming a paparazzi consultant Facebook group where we do these customer appreciation nights. That's a tool. Uh, doing a Q and a live is a tool, even, even inviting them to a selling live. One of your selling lives is a tool. Uh, if you have a story video, that's a tool. So tools to be exposed to your business. How, how can they be exposed to your business more? So that was. Um, so again, let's, let's go back to that complimenting, same common theme and ask them a question. So when you, that's your cold market. So you're going to go out and you're, and I haven't seen Roxanne for, I don't know, three months. Let's call her three months. And so I'm going to say, Hey, Roxanne, I really like those that dress you're wearing today. And then she messages back. And then you say, um, um, <laughs> what's up again? She wears glasses. Let's pretend like she wears glasses. <laughs> Let's see what you got on. Oh, she wears bracelets. No, that's jewelry. We don't want to do jewelry. <laughs> but it's something you can just happen organically. Yes, yes, like we've talked about talking. scripting. What are your goals for this new year? Ask them some sort of a question. So then you guys can just start having a conversation. So it's, hey, Roxanne, how are you doing? One time. Hey, um, I haven't talked to you in a while. And she comes back. I'm How's doing really kids? good. Yeah. How, how are your kids or whatever? And then it's, oh my gosh, it's been five years since we've talked or it's been a couple months. Like what is going, if you haven't, if you talked to them three months ago, you guys have some sort of conversation. But if it's something you haven't talked to them for five to 10 years, it's like, I haven't seen you in five years. Like what is going on? What's new in your life? And you can kind of go, there's two, Hey, where are you working? Have you switched up jobs? Like what's going on? You can just kind of get to know them. Just some of those basic things that you're just, you run into somebody blast from the past. Like, what would you ask those people? And so you can go to those, or it's just, if somebody commented on one of your posts, where did they come from? How did they find you? You can kind of do some research and just ask them just kind of those questions that organically kind of pop up. Yeah. It's something they said that I, I love. And it, I think it comes from what, uh, the book, uh, how to win friends and influence people is a great book to like know how to connect with people. But something he said is if you want to connect with people, be more interested in someone else and their interests rather than talking about yourselves, because it's, it, it, it tends to be a little bit more challenging because we love talking about ourselves. It's easy to talk about ourselves, but we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. So use our ears and ask questions. And that's the secret sauce. Just keep asking questions and being curious about them. And once you find out something that they love, if you find something, if you, if you're talking to someone and you find out what they love, they will blow up and you will find their heart just come alive in what they love. And they'll, it, it's easy to talk about whatever with them or Go that ahead. thing about them. With them. Um, I, th I think too, another thing that I loved is like, we've talked a lot about um, finding these groups, finding these pages of things that you're really interested in. And then you talked and said, when you're having fun, you know, that means that you're doing this right. 
-hmm. So find these things that you really do have something in common. We are talking, like Brittany is talking about people that maybe you've known already. So maybe you already have some of those commonalities. These are people that you've connected with at some point in your life. But we've also been really reaching out to brand new people, finding new people that we don't know yet. We're developing this friendship on social media and develop that friendship. Find those people that do have things in common because this can be fun. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't right. have to feel like work. It doesn't have to feel like spammy or difficult or whatever. Like set up a trigger. This is another thing I loved is that you should be doing this every single day, five people every day. When are you going to do that? You know, don't just go like, oh, I need you that sometime today. So set, you know, make it a habit attached to something else. What else do you do every day that you can go, okay, when I do that, I'm going to go message five people. So you can do that and find the people that you really connect with and start having fun with it. When you have fun, it's going to feel very genuine and that's going to get you so many more results. Yep. One of the tips uh, to piggyback off that that she gave, it will be easy, especially if you are a visual person. Okay. If you write down 10 things that you love and then circle the top four. And then that will give you some type of sense of what groups you want to engage in. And that'll make it easy for you to have those conversations with people. Mm -hmm. So again, what you said that there, write a list of I love blank mm -hmm. and write 10 things down. And then you circle four, four your top four. Yep. So I love jewelry. I love fashion. I love makeup. I love weight loss I love, for old people. I love travel. <laughs> I like hiking. I love, you know, fitness, you know, whatever that is, right? I love babies. <laughs> whatever yep. it is that you guys love, or I love grandkids, or I love just go through what, like if somebody was to say, I love finish the sentence, what would you answer? Yep. And, and guess what you guys, because these are cold market people, these are like strangers. So if they don't reply or you don't get an automatic response or get a response from a lot of them, it's okay. It's okay. Remember, if you get a little negative response, what do we do? We do our little dance, right? We do our little dance. We do a little dance. And remember, we have a high five. Remember the high five, give ourselves a high five for what we're doing. Okay. So that's, market let's talk about a war market war market we talked about uh giving out tools yeah and so you can just go right into it hey i'll go back to roxanne i talked to roxanne two or three times this week and i'm like hey roxanne will you just go on to my live and just tell me what i'm what i yeah. should do differently or what you like about it or whatever invite them to your live that's always wonderful yeah. there's a if if i would you a uh, script we kind of call it if I, if I invite you to this live that I'm doing, would you come check it out and give me some feedback? If I would give you this, this uh, website, would you go check it out and see what you think about it? Another thing that she talked about was the um, N, oh, excuse me, KLT, which is talk about things you know, you like, and you trust. The K, the know, the like, and the trust. It's easy to talk about that. Cool. So what was the last thing? Yeah. What was the last thing Frazier said? Yeah. Was the average of the five people that you hang out with. You're the average of five, the five people that you hang out with. I also okay. like when he said you will make more friends trying to be interested in people than being interesting to people. Mm. Okay. Did you guys hear that? So say it one more time. Be a louder. Wow. You, I learned that. You will make more friends trying to be interested in people than being interesting to people. Mm. Excellent. That That's is awesome. That, that gives me cold chills. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So this is awesome. Five people awesome. a day. That, that'll be easy. You just go in and find five new people or just five people you haven't talked to for, for three months. Easy. New people. New people. Yep. New people every single time. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. We, Anything else? Yeah. We just want you to, to increase your contacts, increase your friends, increase people's to find you on what you say and join us next year and join us at the dr next year yep <laughs> any any questions before we get off if you, for a few minutes anybody have any questions you know it's really nice it's coming um hold on any any questions please raise your hand daily dare karen the daily dare for today is to reach out for 30 days reach out to five new people every single day so it's kind of a, a daily 30 dare. Because <laughs> in the 30 days, hopefully that will create a habit. Click on there. 
I'm trying to see if there's any Let other questions. Set, um, Who, whichever groups you join, make sure your content on your page matches. Yes. Uh, oh, um, Balsam said to cold messages. She added 10 new friends yesterday. Did my first reel yesterday, um, starting a challenge, focusing on family and holiday, wanted to start after that is awesome Aaron. oh Aaron. um you guys can go back and watch the trainings anytime okay awesome. um robbie don said so here's something that just to hit on my win is not getting discouraged because i'm behind two days because mm. of family health issues and moving um through today That's awesome. um so you guys, this is something that these are different ideas. These are different scripting. These are different things for you to just get your brain in the mindset as, as things start coming up, it's like, oh, I know how to respond to that. Oh, here's a script that it's just going to be duplication. And so we are giving you that fire hose. We are throwing a ton of information at you. If there is one thing that you guys are doing and it's working, you're working your business. So it's like, here, I'm just going to contacting five people. Well, you're going into groups and you're already contacting people every day. So that is technically what you guys are already doing. So don't let this stress you yes. out and overwhelm you. Yeah. Just take, say here, I am going to do this 90 day and I'm going to do it for, if you have only 15 minutes a day, do that. If you have 30 minutes a day, do that. If you have just one hour, then just do different things for the one hour. You watch this for the 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then you go in and do your homework. But this is not supposed to be something just to stress you out and overwhelm you. Just do step by step. Yeah, this could honestly be very similar to our, our core activities or daily finding DMO anyway. So it's kind of a hack that you're doing like the same things at the same time. So always remember, you guys don't have the expectation that if you if you fall like three or four days behind that I, I can't catch up and I'm, I'm just going to fall away and don't do it anymore. You guys, it's just okay. Stop. Just start stop. over. If you're three days behind, just start on the new day. It's okay. It's totally fine. We like, there's not an expectation that everybody has to do this perfectly because none of us are perfect. It's okay. Take a breath. Remember, take a breath and just start over and be like, Hey, I missed two days. Okay. I'm at least starting today. What's great about the situation is I'm at least listening to today. Okay. We love you. We will be here tomorrow. Same time, same station. <laughs> Say bye. Love, love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.